I'm into coral, guys. I can't help it. I'm, I've been into coral tops, coral lips, and uh, yeah. Ooh, that reminds me. I need to grab something else. Okay, to show you guys. Okay, so the first thing I want to mention is uh, something. Oh, my scarf that I got from my friend Emily from Lisette's Beauty. She got it at Macy's, and it's a Michael Kors scarf. You can see the little logo. And I had it on earlier, Emily, and uh, I took it off. Look, there's a tag, but it's so pretty and festive, and I just love it. So, I wanted to give a shout out to my girl uh, for getting me that for Christmas. I really appreciate it, and I love it. It's so festive and pretty. Okay, now for my nails, guys. I am still wearing Essie's Smoking Hot. It's been almost two weeks. I just can't help it. By the way, everything I'm wearing will be down there. Okay, I know, girls, but I gotta say that at the beginning of every video, is my hair weave sticking out? No, okay. Because I'll get a lot of questions if I don't. Y'all don't know. Some of y'all might be new viewers and not know that it's always down there. Okay, so smoking hot is still on my nails, girls. It's been almost two weeks. I love this color. I need to redo them, but yeah. Okay, so for my eyes, I have several different things. Um... I did a get ready with me with this Pacifica palette and it's not up yet, but it will be probably next week. I love this. I had a sweet <laughs> subscriber give it to me at uh, the meetup in Nashville. Y'all, I'm really impressed with the pigmentation of these eyeshadows. Now, I think this was $9.99. I've seen it before and I think these are the only shades they have. I'm going to go to Target and look and see if they have like a neutral palette because I uh, love this. Oh my God, they are so pretty. It doesn't have a name. It's Pacifica Natural Minerals Eyeshadows. And it's got a uh, pinky frosty color, a peachy frosty color, a gold frosty color, and then like a satin purple. Oh, these colors go so well together. I love purple and gold and I love blue and gold. Look at those, they are beautiful, and that's what I'm wearing today, and I did a get ready with me, be up next week, girl, uh, using this. I love it, I love it. Okay, I've also been reaching for my mattes this week. Uh, the Balm Meat Matte Nude Palette, and Stila in the No Palette. These are so similar. The real only difference is, um, it seems like these are bigger. I don't know how deep they are. Seems like you get more product. I don't know. Maybe you don't. And the Stila, I don't know. But the only real difference is uh, there's more of a yellow in this one. And then this one has that orange to really like do it as a transition color, you know, just to warm up the crease just a little bit real lightly. It is so pretty. I love both of these. They're all mattes. Um, the quality really is about the same. So if you can find this on hot look like I got, um, you can get, you know, half off or something like that. Then it'll be more affordable than this, but I love them both equally and, uh, been grabbing for these three palettes. Love them. Okay. For, oh, I've been, okay. In that get ready with me, I, uh, use this Sonia, Ka I have not used this Sonia Kashuk palette in forever. This is an in Hinda. <laughs> Hinda, no, Hidden Agenda, number seven. Now this, they have two that I know of, and one's darker than this. Finally, they came out with one darker. Um, not for my skin tone. This one matches great. Uh, it has a green and a little bit darker peach, and then, you know, a, a yellow base. Then it has a setting powder, which I've used before. It's fine. But this reminds me so much of the MAC concealer in the pot. What is it called? Uh, Max Studio. Max, what is it? I wish my friend Stephanie was right here because she used to work for Mac. Okay, by the way, my friend Stephanie just uh, started a YouTube channel. It is Girl Makes Face. I will link her channel down below. Go give her some support. She's a Memphis girl like I am, and uh, she's a makeup artist, an amazing makeup artist, detailed, you know? I mean, she goes into details in her videos. She's got the best funky personality and uh 
I've seen, you know, when you first make videos, you're kind of nervous and all that. But I know Stephanie, and I know how wacky she is. So, uh, yeah, I wish, anyways, go subscribe to her and tell her I sent you. She's a sweetheart. She's got her own style, and I just love it. Now, we are all different, but we can all be, listen to me, Melissa, get back to makeup. I can't. But, you know, we all have our own styles, but we can all be friends. It's okay just because, you know, um, my husband has tattoos, you know, from head to toe. <laughs> well, from neck to toe. You know, and I'm totally no uh, tattoos or anything, but we, you know, I'm here. What am I trying to say? The world, let's all get along. Let's just say that. Oh, my God. Anyways, Stephanie, what is the name of that MAC concealer in the pot? MAC Studio Fix Concealer? MAC something. This reminds me of it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's thick. It's full coverage. It's creamy. It's amazing for, um, I did, I'm always messing up on my lipstick, so I lined my, um, lips with it, your eyebrows, I cover blemishes with it, <clears throat> great stuff, 999, target girl. Okay, <clears throat> the two blushes I've been wearing is, um, this is a recent purchase, Elf's Mellow Mauve. It really, rem I'm afraid my, uh, camera's gonna die, that's why I keep looking over here, because it tells me I only have, like, 12 minutes. Um, it really <clears throat> reminds me of Tarte Exposed. This does not last as long as Tarte Exposed. Let me make sure this clamp is closed. <laughs> oh, okay. It, it does not last as long as Tarte Exposed, but it's a beautiful color all year round. Um, it kind of, from here, it looks like Narsin, <clears throat> but Tarte Exposed, it's really similar. Doesn't last as long. But it be beautiful, girl. It be beautiful. Okay. Now, it's just real natural. Let me build it up. Now, I did a half-face drugstore, half-face high-end. And I did use this compared to Tarte Exposed. I will link it down below. <clears throat> I almost didn't upload that video because I don't know if it was the light. We're just going to say it was the light, but I looked so splotchy. Like, when I applied my bronzer, it was so splotchy. I think... It was the light because <laughs> um, when I looked in the mirror it didn't look that splotchy and I, I it like it was splotchy here and a splotch over here um, too much bronzer on this side I don't know I guess it was the brush I almost didn't upload it because I was like oh god they're gonna be hounding on me about my bronzer but I went ahead and uploaded it because it took me forever half face drugstore half face high end I'll link it down below next I've also been grabbing the It Cosmetic uh, Live Love Laugh Vitality Disc, and this is what it looked like, and uh, the bronzer, the highlight, beautiful colors. This is a beautiful coral with gold, sh like a gold sheen. Oh, girl, girl, you talk about pretty. You can find that at Ulta or online, QVC. Itcosmetics.com. Love that. Okay, lips. I've been doing, do, going gaga over some lips. Okay, in that half face drugstore video, I uh, you I realized that Venom from Urban Decay, which I love these lipsticks. Venom is a dark uh, maroon, purpley maroon. Really light, similar to um, Max Rebel. This one's a, this one's different. The closest dupe I found to it is. Uh, Fergie's Wet n Wild Ferguson Crest Cabernet. And uh, my hair be funky. I know, guys. And it's just a beautiful color. It's the closest thing I've found to that Urban Decay lipstick. Uh, closer than Rebel. So, um, I love these two. I actually prefer the Wet n Wild formula. Their formulas are so similar. But this one is a little bit more drying than the Wet n Wild, Fergie Wet n Wild. Um, but the colors are almost identical. The formulas are almost identical, but this will tug at my lips more and show if I have chapped lips more than the Wet n Wild. So I kind of prefer this one, which is a good thing. I won't repurchase this. Probably never get through it, let's be honest. Uh, but I would repurchase that. Okay, so I've been into this. Oh, let me show you this before the corals I've been into. Okay. I have three of these Too Faced La Creme lipsticks. This is Razzle Dazzle Rose. Ah, oh, this is my favorite. It's like a pinky violet, 
it's so wearable it really is you see right right there it is so pretty girls it just brightens up your face it feels beautiful i just love this it's one of my my favorite lipsticks and i should have put it in best of 2013 dang i hate when i do that i'll film a video and it's like dang i should have done this or this okay i've also been wearing this pop pouty pop <laughs> Wait, okay, you can find It Cosmetics at Ulta and you can find uh, Pop at Ulta. This Pop Pouty Pop <laughs> Crayon, this one's in Coral Crush. Oh, it's so pretty. The formula's uh, really thin, but moisturizing. You can't really feel it on your lips. Look, girls, oh, love that. And then these new L'Oreal, I have no idea what the names are, the name of these are. <clears throat> Doesn't have it on the package, but you can see it here. The brand new, has a doe foot applicator, but it's a it's kind of like the YSL uh, glossy stains, you know, the way it looks. But I love it because it's kind of like a doe foot applicator, but it's flat. So you can put your lips, close it down, close your lips on it, and you just kind of like do like that. You only need, like, you don't need to dip it twice. Mmm, mmm. At least this one is like full color. It's beautiful. It's what I'm wearing. Mm, they feel so good. They don't stain your lips, but they feel, I bet the brighter ones would. This is a beautiful uh, color. Let me tell you what it is. It's Rose Symphony 201. Two, oh, one. Rose? Where'd you get rose in this? This is coral. I guess it has a little bit of a pinky tint to it, I guess, but it's really a coral. It's just fabulous. These are the type of corals I like. I don't like too orangey of a coral because it makes your teeth look too yellow and I like coffee. That is my off beauty favorite. This is the, my favorite. It's not the pumpkin spice around fall time. It is the caramel brulee latte. I get it skinny. So it's like fat free milk and I put two Splendas in it or they put two Splendas in it. Caramel brulee latte. <laughs> and I rarely get these um, even though I get them skinny, they still have calories in them. And this was $5.99 for a grande, you know, a size medium. But I love it. So every now and then I treat myself to one of these. Okay, I have two more things to uh, mention. Okay, so I mentioned Stephanie's channel. Link it down below. Also, um, Off Beauty is, I watched this before. I gave this movie to, to my dad. Um, it's called The Case for... A creator a, the case for a creator see I look splotchy right now I ain't splotchy when I look in the mirror um, case, the case for a creator and what it is is uh, this atheist um, he is a lawyer and obsessed with science there's so many um, uh, scientists out there that are trying to prove that there's no God and he actually went in as an atheist and did all this science and all this uh, research and he ended up becoming a Christian because the scientific facts just blew him away which you never hear about scientific facts um, there is a God you know so I love that um I will try to find the video. I found it on Bing. I will try to find the video and link it down below. Other than that, they have a book, but it's the movie that I love. Um, and uh, The Case for a Creator. So, love that. Um, okay, for my poo, boo, it is Buxom's uh, lip liner. I don't know. Hold the Line Waterproof Eyeliner. This one's in Call Me, which is their black. This was just a mini sample. So creamy, so creamy, and they last for a long time. What I don't like about them is they won't last in my waterline. Um, but the biggest thing is when I was using it over this gold right here, um, it came off a little gray, off black. It wasn't as jet black. And in person, really, you can kind of see how if I smudge it out, you see how there's like a tint of green or something I even see in that. Is this supposed to be green? Girl, is this supposed to be green? So this mug is green. Well, it's black. Lord, I don't know. If it's supposed to be black, it kind of looks grayish. If it's supposed to be green, forgive me, child. You can go out and get it. How about it and uh, 
I will talk to you guys later. I hope you guys have a wonderful uh, weekend. I'm wearing my Bellamy hair extensions, which I love. I have all the information down below. And um, I love you guys. I will talk to you guys later. Whoop, whoop.